Wow, you know, I just, I'm so happy over the success of my new movie. I got to fight King Ghidorah and Dan, and I even had my best friend Mothra there. It was such a great time, and everyone just loved it. It was so Turn to big chocolate! Yeah. <laughs> yum, yum, meet him up. Oh? Oh, what? hey! What are you doing down there? That's not fair. Both you of you just can't bigger. go going around and doing Chocolate! such a thing. <laughs> Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, Collector Steven here, and I am back bringing you a designer vinyl figure review. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Andrew Bell Dead Zero, whichever you prefer to call him, King-Sized Kill Cat. Now, some of you folks may recognize Kill Cat from the rather uh, six-inch or so version that I featured on my channel a couple of times in different flavors, but this time we have the granddaddy of them all, the King-Sized version. Clocking in at an MSRP of around 140 bucks, this one is rather expensive. But do you get your money's worth? I think you kind of do. So let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Like the smaller versions of Kill Cat, you do get a nice packaging experience here, where you are going to get a nice brown box, which will hold the wrapper for Kill Cat, and you have the nice Kill Cat logo on it, you get some information about Onoko, yeah, that's, that's pretty neat, and you get a little fun illustration, gotta, gotta love that. Sometimes signed by uh, Andrew Bell, Dead Zebra, depending on if you're going to pick this up at a convention, or if you're going to order it directly from him. Now you go ahead and you open up that box and you are going to have two little foam inserts to help protect this from bouncing around in transit. However, you won't always have a bunch of luck with it being safe. Now, just like the smaller kill cats, you are going to have an actual wrapper that is used for the uh, packaging of Kill Cat here. Now, what's really cool is that this is very similar to an actual Kid Cat wrapper. Don't know if I should actually mention that by name. But anyway, you have the nice labeling there for Kill Cat. You have some information about how much more evil this one is. And what's cool about this is that, keeping with tradition, if you flip it over and look at the back, you can actually see the nutrition label for it. Yep. You can see what this Kill Cat is made of. Turns out, it's not made of vinyl. Yep. Pure evil. Also gives you a warning not to eat it. But, uh, uh you know, don't. Or do. But don't. One of the things I don't like about the Kill Cat is that, unfortunately, you're going to have to ruin the wrapper to get it out, but... Say lovey. Now, it is in sort of like a plastic clamshell that uh, you're going to open up. And the Kill Cat in and of itself is going to have a little plastic bag over it, so you just pull it out of the bag. But mine bounced around in transit and broke the tray, so that's not fun. Yeah, it's upsetting. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual Kill Cat. Standing at 14 and a half inches tall, almost literally 14 and a half on a ruler, Kill Cat is quite impressive, and it is one big boy. Now... With that size adjustment, there are going to be some changes from the standard 6-inch size Kill Cat. One thing that I noticed is that some of the spray that was used on the standard 6-inch milk chocolate Kill Cat, there are several different flavors, you got to make sure you're doing the right comparison, isn't necessarily found as much on this one, but still, there are better paint apps here in terms of the eye paint, the teeth paint, and even that little drip of blood on the one mouth for the Kill Cat. So where you're going to have some reduction of paint apps, you're going to have an increase elsewhere. And you're also going to have cleaner paint apps on the feet, which on all of the six inch versions, there are small swivels on the, uh, the feet there, so they can twist and they can turn. That is going to be absent on the king size Kill Cat. So I don't know. That's not really a bad thing at all, because they, they just turn, so... Eh? Eh? Yeah. Something that I'm happy about that was corrected 
from the six inch versions of the Kill Cat is that sometimes you could actually see a seam line running on the back of them, almost as if there was a piece that was glued in place, where here it's not as obvious. So kudos for them to fix that in the production process. So overall, here is a quick snapshot of what the six inch Kill Cat's spray is like on the main body. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference there. But overall, the King Size Kill Cat is a pretty nice looking gigantic vinyl figure. Now, it doesn't have any articulation and we kind of went over any of the accessories that it may have. So we're going to go ahead and move on over the size comparison. If for some reason you don't comprehend how big 14 and a half inches would be. So here's just some uh, general figures that, uh, you know, are kind of popular right now. So Kong Want Kill Cat. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Now, in the world of designer vinyl figures, they do tend to run on the high end, especially if they're limited in production and they are event exclusive. Thankfully, the King Size Kill Cat does not yet seem to be in that category, though it is in limited supply exactly how much, we don't know. But with the price being about 140 to 150 bucks, eh, general fans of action figure collecting and whatnot maybe won't necessarily get the price point but if you do understand the territory this one is not so bad considering the uh, purple drink kill cat can go for like 120 bucks on its own on ebay yeah so this is a pretty good deal if you like horror merchandise and you want something unique oh yeah this is really cool well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up, thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media, or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.